I enjoy playing the game. And so everything I do is about the game. Yes. My podcast is called The Game. I draw pictures all day about business. I write books about business. I make content about business. And I spend the rest of my draw? time. I've never seen a picture. Oh, dude, me. $100 million offers. A zillion pictures in there. Oh, yeah, are yeah, they yeah. done by you? 100%. All of the drawings are mine. And $100 million leads has like 100 doodles in it. Yeah. Doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Are any good? Are they nice? I think so. Are they, got, are they cute? Yeah. They've got little cute. animals in? Yeah. If they don't have animals in, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to look at them. Oh, there's there's little bag of money, big bag of money. Like that's how. Nice. Like, dead serious. Sweet. But no, but like, and, and I spend the rest of my day doing business. Yeah. And so it's like, well, why don't you garden? Because well, I don't care. Here's the other, <laughs> here's the other thing, right? I, I, I always talk about this. Steffi Graf, um, they, one of the greatest female tennis players of all time. Yeah. And she gets tested when she's. 10 years old 11 years old and she's in some tennis academy and they gauge the players on two criteria uh -huh. they gauge them on desire to train uh and skill set all right and she was 10 out of 10 on both mm -hmm. so okay not only has she got the raw materials to make a phenomenal tennis player but she'll outwork you and to her it won't even feel like work that's fucking terrifying yeah and that's why i do think for the people that look at yourself and say uh, Alex is on a, a road to burnout. It's because you are using your theory of yeah. mind about how you would feel if you had to work as much as you do. Yes. But okay, what is the thing that you can do longer than anybody else? And to them, it looks like work. And to you, it looks like play or feels like play. What would that be? Oh, well, for me, it would be uh, computer games or knitting or rock music or whatever yeah, do it is. That. It's like, okay, so imagine <laughs> if you just got to do that all day, yeah. but instead of it being rock music, it was fucking business. Yeah. Uh, someone commented the other day, um, was it you're sprinting on a treadmill? Uh, they were concerned that the pace that the show is going out at was going to cause me to burn out. And in retrospect, I'm, you know, in five years time, I might go, fuck, yeah, I was moving too quick. But I don't, I don't think that. Like, I work at the pace that I like to work at. And I also like to see where those limits are. And that's exciting to me to go, okay, just how much harder can I go here? And then again, you, you've got to temper it with, that's burnout, like that's just the beginning of it. And you yeah. only know that after you've burned out like uh, yeah. 30 times. Uh, but that's, it's tried to say after Atomic Habits by James Clear, right? But the intersection of like, what you love to do, what you're good at and what you can be paid for is yeah. like slap bang in the middle of it. Slaves worked all the hours they were awake for their entire lives in American history, in Egyptian history, in the rest of the world that had slaves, which is most of the world at some, some given point. I think like if they can do it, so can I. Now you're like, well, did they have a happy existence? Well, they didn't get to pick the work they did, but it means that you can work. That's if you have the cap behind you, you can work every hour of the day. I'm like, well, if you get to have the cheese and you get to eat the cheese the whole way you're going, then, I mean, there's the famous quote, uh, you know, the person who the person who loves walking walks further than the person who loves the destination. Right. And so like, I think it's the same thing, but the, everyone, so many people want to project their idea of, of what they think your life should be like onto you. And it's just completely irrelevant. It just doesn't matter. Like if all I did, if I, if I weren't married, right. Cause people were like, okay, well he is married and like I am in shape. But I also just like working out. But if I didn't have either of those things and all I did was work all day, more people would talk about the work-life balance thing for me than they currently do. And who cares? I just like, I just, I fundamentally am like, you are going to die and you're not going to matter. And I'm going to die and I'm not going to matter. So why do I care about what you're going to say when you're not even going to show up to my funeral? Who gives a shit? 